If there's only one rig I could use for the rest of my life feeder fishing, it'd be my good old faithful Twizzled Loop, Twizzled Boom rig. It's a fantastic rig, this. It's so versatile. It's a little bit fiddly to tie, but it is just one of the most reliable things that I, I, I use all the time. I use it on the rivers, I use it on the lakes, I use it for bream and skimmers and everything. It's a free running rig, and that's what is important about it, but there's just one little twist in it that I'll show you when I've finished it, and it's great. It's quite easy. All you need are two elements. There you go, that's it. Need some micro beads, glass beads. Plastic beads are no good because they end up actually splitting or, or just wearing through. American snap swivels and um, micro beads. That's all you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what I do with this rig. I go basically put the American snap swivel on the line, and that just runs up the line not fixing it at all, I'm doing nothing with it at the moment. Then I put the bead on the line. The bead goes on, that's up the line, and those two literally just stay out of the way for the moment. Well, what I want to do now is create a twisty boom. And this is the way I do it. I just twist the line, and make a bit of a boom like that. Once that's made, you can see that's nice and straight, stiffens everything up, and I put, at the base of that, a double overhand knot. And what I'll do is pull that tight, and that's the stage one of the twisted loop process complete. Then what I'll do, take the bead, and move it down to the, that knot. And then I'll just go through the same process again and I'm actually trapping the bead within that twisty boom. That bead is going to be my feeder stop my, for my swivel. And then what I do, about four inches about perfect. It doesn't need to be too long, but it needs to be just long enough for the feeder to be able to move about. Then, very important, just a one overhand knot. Pull it tight, trim it off very close to the knot, and then what you've got, oh, and I can get to the swivel, what you've got there is a little tiny boom. Put the feeder on it, and I'll show you exactly what it does. It acts as a lovely little kicker boom. You can see there, look, it's already kicking off. So get some feeder, some ground bait in it, and suddenly you've got something that kicks off. The way the hook length is attached is a simple loop to loop. And that just goes through loop to loop as standard as you would put on most hook lengths these days. But again, acts as a great boom. Look at it, you can see it kicking off, and when you put ground bait in, it's even greater. And that, for me, is the most simple thing. But as you can see there, look, that when you've got a fish on, when a, when a fish takes a bait, it pulls it, and there's a tiny little knot there, just fish will hook itself on that knot, but you've got a free running system there. So if you get a big fish on, you, the big fish is not bouncing the feeder about, the feeder's running freely up the line. It's such a reliable method, um, I use it for pretty much everywhere I can.